deep hammer depleting the intelligence of deep neural networks through targeted chain of bit flips. This work is done together with my collaborators from Arizona State University. In the past decade, there has been a tremendous amount of advances in machine learning. The industry is widely deploying large-scale machine learning platforms such as machine learning as a service from, from Amazon, Google, and Microsoft. More importantly, due to the super real performance, DNN applications are increasingly integrated into critical systems for decision-making tasks, including medical diagnostics, access control, and malware detection. Apparently, maintaining ML security in many of these systems is extremely important. Among several ML security objectives, model integrity is a key concern. Tempering DNN models can lead to severe consequences in the inference stage. For example, uh, imagine what would happen if an intelligence system is making wrong decisions during autonomous driving. So how could the uh, model integrity of deep learning systems be compromised? Currently, considerable attention has been Focus on integrating external threats that exploit inputs and outputs where a malicious user is sitting outside the ML system. However, internal threats that leverage hardware vulnerability in systems is less explored. Recent development of hardware based attack revealed that various hardware structures, such as computing logic, caches, and DRAMs, can be prone to a force. Such hardware vulnerability pose unprecedented threats to the integrity of software running in systems. As internal ad adversaries can directly perturb DNN systems, understanding their security impacts on DNN model integrity is necessary. In this paper, we aim to answer the following question. Are deep neural network vulnerable to the internal adversaries exploiting hardware-based faults? Towards this end, we, we demonstrate a new class of attack that manages to temper the uh, model integrity by exploiting hardware-based vulnerabilities. To begin with, let me briefly review the scope of the attack. Our work focuses on quantized DNA models. Particularly, quantized model is a robust model bit flip as pointed out by prior work. Since model quantization is widely applied due to its advantage in computing efficiency, Investigating the robustness of quantized model against hardware fault is necessary. Our work leveraged the Rohammer attack to inject force into DNN model weights. Rohammer allows deterministic bit flips in memory that can be triggered through unprivileged software and is con considered as one of the most dangerous fault attack vector in real system. We term our proposed attack deep hammer. Before we dig into the attack detail, uh, let me present the definition of the attacker's objective. We focus on an attack with a very aggressive goal, that is degrading the inference accuracy of a, victims, of a victim DM, DM, DNA model to the level of random guess. For example, for ResNet 20 trained for Cypher 10 dataset with 10 output classes, the inference accuracy before attack is 19.2%. We regard the attack as successful if after the attack, the inference accuracy is dropped to about 10%. In other words, we propose, uh, we, uh, the proposed attack aims to deplete the intelligence of deep neural net networks. Unfortunately, uh, it is challenging to uh, realize an end-to-end -end attack for such objective. We summarize two major challenges. First one, how to identify the most vulnerable bits to flip. This is an always never challenge. And secondly, given a flip, bit flip plan, how to successfully flip those bits in real system? This is a system level challenge. To tackle the algorithm level challenge, we propose an effective bit search method that locates the most vulnerable weight bits. At a high level, the search algorithm iteratively locates a weight bit in the victim's model to flip. To find the nth bit to flip, we first perform a bitwise gradient ranking that identify the top P uh, vulnerable weight, weight bits in each layer using equation one. We then, we then combine all these vulnerable bits across layers and rank these bits based on the incremental accuracy loss using equation two. After the ranking is completed, we use the flip, bit, flip aware bit search that selects the most influential bit. 
we make sure that the selected bits can be flipped by checking the system constraint using the DRAM bit flip profile. After the current iteration, if the desired accuracy drop is not achieved, the algorithm continues with the next iteration. In the end, it's the algorithm generates a chain of bits that if all flipped, can lead to the success of the attack. Now, now that the bit search process has generated a chain of bits to flip, we will need to tackle the system level challenge, that is to flip the target bits in memory through row hammer. We propose three advanced uh, row hammer technique for this purpose. Multi-page multi -page memory massaging that enables fast and efficient victim page relocation, precise row hammering that ensures exact bit flips based on the targeted bit chain, and lastly, the online memory retemplating, which allows fast correction of opposite DRAM bit flip profile. Memory massaging in Deep Hammer prepares a memory layout and maps multiple victim weight pages to the exploitable DRAM rows. As shown in the bottom figure, each DRAM row typically contains parts of several different pages, and we call each of them in row page. We find that row hammering can be confined to uh, the in row page without interference in interfering others. Uh, accordingly, we propose the use of a compact uh, aggressor rows that only occupies part of the three consecutive rows for double-sided hammering. Such optimization increases the memory usage efficiency and can avoid row assignment conflicts for multiple page uh, target pages. Next step is to position the targeted weight pages to the des designated physical locations. We propose a fast page position technique by utilizing the percipial free page list. The percipial page set is a data structure that stores recently released page frames in last in and first out fashion. As is shown in the right side figure, to exploit the page set, the page set data structure, the attacker first releases uh, the target physical pages in one order. This page frames would be pushed to the uh, page set structure. The attacker then knows the victim weight pages in the, in the reverse order through mem memory map interfaces. Using uh, such approach, the targeted victim pages would be successfully located to the, uh, to the planned locations. Now the victim pages are successfully positioned. It is finally the time to hammer them. We figure out that there is a need to flip the exact bits as undesired bit flips can fail the attack. However, unexpected bit flips can happen. For instance, there might be multiple vulnerable cells in one in-row page. Fortunately, it has been observed in prior work that flipping of a specific cell only depends on the two cells in the same column of the aggressor rows. Therefore, it is possible to precisely control which bit you flip. We propose the use of a column page strap pattern to allow precise hammering. Specifically, the content of the aggressor rows are set carefully so that only the intended column has the striping pattern that is known to induce bit flip and the rest of the columns are set within with the same content as shown in the top right figure. In this way, Deep Hammer can precisely control which bit, bit to flip. The bottom figure shows the setup of the precise hammering to flip four weight bits in a bit chain. We additionally observe a new issue that has been discussed before as far as we, that has not been discussed as far as we know. That is, the bit flip profile collected for Deep Hammer can be obstinate especially after system power cycle or reboot. This could uh, be a significant hurdle to our attack as the attack success relies on accurate flip information or flip profile. Interestingly, uh, we observe that when the bit flip profile is changes, lo the location of vulnerable cells remain the same, and mostly only the flip direction is reverted. We believe that this is due to the data scrambling by memory controller. We therefore propose a fast retabulating scheme. Basically, before hammering, uh, the attacker check if the flip profile is obstinate. If so, it only retests the pages in the old flip profile whose vulnerable bit offsets are of interest according to the bit chain. We find that this approach can drastically reduce the templating time from days to minutes. Our experiments are run on the following experiment setup. 
For DNN configurations, we use multiple data sets and test in total 11 DNN architectures. The DNN training is done on NVIDIA GPU platform, and the inference is set up on machines with Intel Ivy Bridge processors using DDR3 memory modules. Now let's look at the major results. In this table, we show each of the configuration, the number of network parameters, the accuracy before after attack, and the minimum number of bit flips needed for the attack. As we see, Rohammer is able to successfully compromise all the DNNs by degrading the inference accuracy either close to or below the random guess level. More notably, to achieve the attack goal, Deep Hammer only needs to flip between 2 to 24 bits among models that have up to millions of, millions of weight parameters. The result shows that the bit search algorithm is highly effective in locating the most vulnerable bits while considering system level constraints. Finally, let's look at the runtime statistic of Deep Hammer exploitation. This figure shows the average time it takes for Deep Hammer to perform uh, retemplating and a precise hammering. Uh, as we can see, our proposed row hammering exploitation requires less than two minutes to flip up to 24 bits among all models. Furthermore, even we, if the bit flip profile is obstinate, with our proposed fast retemplating technique, the hammer only needs, to, needs less than five minutes to quickly correct the wrong information, as opposed to a 28-hour regular memory templating. Overall, our system level results show that Deep Hammer poses practical and serious concerns to a variety of DNN architectures. Due to time limitation, we suggest interested audience to refer to the paper for more details on um, attack and mitigation evaluations. As a conclusion, we highlighted that multiple deterministic bit flips are required to temper quantized DNN models. We propose a new attack, Deep Hammer, that depletes DNN intelligence through DRAM port injections. We design novel algorithms and system level techniques that enable internal tempering of DNNs with Deep Hammer. Our work motivates the need to enhance the robustness of DNNs against hardware based port injections. This is all my talk. I'm, I'm ready for questions. Thanks.